The U.S. aviation system is a modern marvel and sets the standard for the rest of the world. The efficient operations of the airspace system affect our entire economy. The U.S. aviation sector employs 12 million people and contributes more than 5% to our gross domestic product, representing more than $928 billion. Because of aviation's importance, the FAA is continually looking for ways to improve safety and efficiency. We recognize the value of aviation in our own lives and to the U.S. economy, but everyone gets frustrated with the extent of delays that can occur from the ever-increasing demand. Not only is our system, say, 10 times larger than the second largest system, but it's clearly more complex, and the reality is it's even more cost-efficient. We need a surface solution for the aviation infrastructure that's becoming overburdened with more and more flights. And we need a system that will smooth out the taxi demand to the runway. From a time-based ATC system, that information is a time, and that's what they're looking for. What time are we going to take off, and ultimately what time we're going to land at our destination. The best thing I can do as a captain is to be able to relay to my passengers good information. Knowing the time frames that aircraft are trying to get to the runway, that piece has been missing throughout our system. And when you don't know when they're going to take off, it's very hard to fit them into the stream. You need to know when people want to leave so that we can tie that in to when they're going to get there and make it more efficient for everyone. The FAA is using three very important tools that enable air traffic controllers to communicate better with the users of the airspace and make collaborative decisions to improve efficiency. We are using Traffic Flow Management System, or TFMS, Time-Based Flow Management, or TBFM, and the game-changing tool we're discussing today, Terminal Flight Data Manager, or the TFDM system. It's a monumental leap forward, and the amount of change that we have gone through in the last, really just the last five, maybe six years, it's, it's actually one of the complaints that we've had from the controllers that you know, we're getting too much information now all at the same time, because we're in that type of an environment now to where people are wanting to make efficiency increases and safety increases. And really give controllers the opportunity to use the information because they're gonna get it much more timely, accurate, and it's gonna be available to them when they need it. TFDM receives information about the airport surface area demand and constraints and shares that information with both the airline's data systems and airports, as well as the air traffic controllers. The net result is a system that allows for the efficient use of the taxiways and runways. All the data that we ingest provides the information that we make decisions on. The more accurate the data, the more accurate our demand predictions, the better we can tailor our traffic management initiatives for the capacity and making sure that we optimize the capacity that we have. Having that information earlier allows us to get a better picture and that allows us to plan better and give predictability to the customers. The new information is now available in real time with electronic flight strips, or EFS. The shared information that the airlines provide is now integrated with EFS and communicated seamlessly between each of the air traffic control positions in the tower cab. The important information that is needed on that flight stays with that electronic flight strip. Sharing the information electronically with the electronic flight strips reduces the verbal coordination between controllers in the tower cab and increases controllers' heads up time. More time spent looking out the window, therefore increasing safety. Being able to keep the accurate, up-to-date information and the things that have happened to that flight prior to getting to your position will be critical. Now you have the whole story, you know, where that flight started, where it's at when you're working it, and it'll just help us be able to make a more efficient use of that information as we get the planes up and going. Things like SDX, things like Datacom, the ATSAP program, all of these things have come in over the last five, six, seven years. Now with things like electronic flight strip systems, TFDM, surface metering. It's the equivalent of going from a rotary phone to an iPhone 7. There's really not been any kind of advances in the tower cap. We've been running on paper flight strips and handwriting and no sharing information anywhere except for a phone call every now and then. It's a huge jump forward. 
So we're simply using new technology and the integration of data sources to create much more powerful human decision-making, not only for controllers, but for operators as well. Well, the power of these software programs and new capabilities and new technology is to create information um, and do the integration so that what you get as a human decision maker is much higher capability, much more strategic, and it makes the modification to the air traffic system much more strategic and much more valuable. This is a great opportunity for us to bring some technology right there to them in the tower cab to help them be able to communicate what's going on on the ground much more effectively. And certainly I expect that we'll be able to more efficiently help them now that we have that kind of information available to all of us. It's a tough concept to, to describe and then to understand from someone who's not involved in it. It's very much like getting in your car and leaving and going to work. Everybody does it at once, you pull out of your driveway and you're already in traffic. Whereas if somebody left five minutes later, they get to work the exact same amount of time, but they don't stop, go, stop, go. It's a nice, smooth, easy transition all the way into work. Think about this explanation like it was your neighborhood. What if every car wanted to back out of the driveway at exactly 7.15 a.m.? In no time, there would be bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic before you even reach the main road and well before you reach the highway. Instead, what if each of these cars had shared their destination and the time they wanted to arrive before they left their home? Each car would be put in a virtual queue and back out of their driveway at their specific departure time without interference with other vehicles. Each car could then flow into traffic at an allotted point in time, then lead them to the on-ramp at a point in time, and then onto the highway. With a managed flow, each point in their route is connected back to the time they backed out of their driveway. And with fewer traffic jams and a predictable pace, drivers could use this extra time before departure to check email, walk the dog, pack a lunch, enjoy an extra cup of coffee, and an on-time arrival. All of this from shared information that can strategically manage both time and traffic. That is how TFDM works for aircraft. Through the sharing of more precise schedule data for each flight, TFDM creates this point-to-point -point connectivity that enables the system to accurately schedule an aircraft's departures according to a predetermined sequence. Watch this example of how TFDM will work managing departure flow. Currently, aircraft push back from the gate when they're ready and enter a queue that gets longer and longer as the departing aircraft get in line. The departure line gets so long that arriving aircraft cannot avoid the traffic jam and have to wait for the departure lines to be cleared before they can access their arrival gate. Now, compare that scenario with aircraft that are being metered. Each metered aircraft is given a specific time to enter the taxiway. Their pilot doesn't need to repeatedly throttle the engine, wasting fuel and releasing CO2. The actual takeoff time for the metered aircraft would be at the same time, or perhaps even earlier, than the unmetered aircraft. It's the difference between anxiously waiting on the tarmac or comfortably waiting inside the terminal. Over the life of the TFDM systems, TFDM will save over 313 million gallons of fuel and over 3 million metric tons of carbon emissions. That's the equivalent of a reduction of over 7 billion miles driven by an average passenger vehicle. That's the impact of TFDM. It's a much more efficient, more comfortable, and more environmentally friendly flight. You're able to get the passengers from point A to point B faster and quicker. Obviously, there's going to be less frustration, and the airport isn't going to be just a place that they have to get through. It's going to be an enjoyable experience for everybody. Because of programs like TFDM, where we are the most innovative in figuring out how we can improve the system to make it even better. Uh, and, and FAA has a consistent track record of doing that collaborating with industry as this program is a prime example of, uh, collaborating with all of us as operators and stakeholders in the system uh, to make these incremental improvements that make it even more efficient and even more cost effective. There is a lot of collaboration between the PMO and tech ops. And I think that collaboration, the commitment from the program office, the commitment from the team, the commitment from the tech ops team, that collaborative spirit there, that truly we work with you, you work with us, it's not a handoff, it's a handshake. I think that's the model to follow on all these other programs. 
it's a game changer. I mean, this is going to bring us into the next century.